So the question today is, will your blood test actually reveal your vitamin deficiencies? A lot of times when you go to the doctor, they'll do uh, a CBC, which is a complete blood count, which they measure the how many red blood cells and white blood cells you have, the hemoglobin, the iron, and then you may get something called the basic metabolic panel, which measures a lot of things, uh, all basic organ systems, uh, a few nutrients. They might check iron, B12, sodium, chloride, calcium, maybe potassium. And in your mind, you're thinking, well, this is going to evaluate all my nutritional deficiencies. Not quite, because what's happening in the blood or the serum is not happening inside the cell. And if we take magnesium, for example, 99% of all the magnesium in your body is inside the cell. It's called intracellular. And if we take potassium, it's 98% of potassium is inside the cell. That means only 2% of your potassium is inside the blood. So only 1% of magnesium is in the blood, which really does not give the true picture. And there's two things I want to differentiate. Uh, classical nutritional deficiencies, which would be like severe uh, vitamin C, vitamin D, vitamin B3 or B1, like scurvy or rickets or pellagra or beriberi. A lot of times you don't see those anymore. And so if you don't see those severe nutritional deficiencies, you might think, oh, we're fine. We're getting all of our nutrients from our diet. But no, we're not because there are subclinical deficiencies. And this is where doctors do not put a lot of attention. They don't have a lot of training and they definitely do not show up on a blood test. These two blood tests right here. Subclinical nutrition deficiencies will give you certain symptoms of that deficiency, but maybe not all of them. Um, it could relate to the body's ability to repair or longevity, or even protecting your immune system against you know, autoimmune conditions. So let me give you a couple examples of symptoms with subclinical vitamin deficiencies. So if you're A deficient, night vision would be your symptom, or problems with the cornea okay, of the eye, or your skin might be a little bit thicker. With D, it's definitely gonna be low back pain, uh, inflammation, that's a big one. Sometimes even nosebleeds. Vitamin E would be weak muscles, poor recovery after exercise. Your muscles do not repair fast enough. Vitamin K1, bruising easily. Vitamin B1 would be anxiety or nervous tension. B2, crack corners in your mouth, right through here, or crack lips. Biotin would be problems with your nails. It could be brittle nails, the ridges in the nails, and hair loss. And then vitamin C would be bleeding gums and fatigue. So these are just a few examples. And what you're definitely not gonna evaluate when you do these two tests is a zinc deficiency or selenium and a vitamin D deficiency, you have to ask for that separately. Did you realize that over 2 billion people on this planet are deficient in zinc and over a billion people are deficient in vitamin D? Yet these two are not tested often enough. The problem with testing zinc, especially in the blood, is that it goes up and down through the day. So depending on when you test zinc, it could be off by 20%. Also, when you're doing fasting, like they always tell you to do fasting when you, before you get your blood test, it will spike zinc. So you're going to get a false picture. So it might show normal, but then if you eat something, it goes down. Uh, inflammation. When there's inflammation in the body, your zinc will be lower. All right, Dr. Berg. So that's very interesting, but how do we test for micronutrient deficiencies? Well, I'm going to recommend a blood test that evaluates these nutrients off of your lymphocytes, okay? It's a very unique test. Um, there's a company that specializes in this. It's called SpectraCell. I have no affiliation. I don't get any kickbacks. I'm not an affiliate. Uh, I put a link down below to check them out. But this is one company that I've researched and I really like because it gives you an in-depth um, viewpoint on all these micronutrient deficiencies, both uh, trace minerals, minerals, and vitamins, and antioxidants. And there's other companies as well that you can uh, check out, but just realize when you do these basic blood tests, you're not really getting the whole picture of what's happening with your nutrients for these reasons.
Thanks for watching. Hey, if you haven't already subscribed, press the button below and I will keep you in the know. Hey, that rhymes.